Hello, this is Jared Schiller with Southwest Virginia Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about how to make deer sausage. So, this makes between six to eight pounds. Uh, what I have is you want to mix your pork, what is trimmed, and your venison. What did you need to trim it up as good as possible? You know, cut off the fat and all the texture and stuff that you don't want. You want to mix it about half and half to get the texture correct. So half venison, half pork. I've already mixed some up as you can see. Uh, you need a good meat grinder. You want to use the small setting of the small, uh, the one with the small holes. So you don't want any great big. You want to keep it as small as possible. What you'll need is that you'll need black pepper, <coughs> kosher salt, sage, red pepper flake, a little bit of thyme, and some garlic powder. Alright, so uh, since we have everything cut, trimmed, ready to go, here's what I have laid out here for you. I've got the sausage ground already. So this is the deer and the pork that is ground finally. You want some kind of really cold water. I also have about 8 pounds here. So I need 3 heaping tablespoons of kosher salt about three heaping tablespoons of black pepper and then I need six tablespoons of sage and then about a tablespoon of thyme and about a tablespoon of garlic powder and then as much red pepper flake as you want so I'm gonna mix them all up really good you want to when you dump everything in here you know you want to I just dump and then once you get everything dumped, I got a little helper here as you can see in the kitchen. Now me, I'm going to throw on the heat on this one so I'm going to throw some extra uh, red pepper in there. So anyway, the trick is with the water. You want to pour the water. Remember, it needs to be really cold in, you know, a cup or so. Um, roughly. And then once you get it all in there, you go to mixing until it is very mixed, very thoroughly. So this will take a few minutes. And once we do that, we're going to fry up a little bit of it to see where we're at and if we need to add anything else. So we'll catch you on the flip side here. All right, so finished product kind of looks something like this um, what we're going to do is we're going to just get a little piece here want to make it into a little patty so we're going to bring it over here to our frying pan so where you got a lot of content of deer in this and even though we put pork in it it still don't fry up really 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 good as far as so I like to throw in just a little bit of butter kind of get it hot and you can use uh, coconut oil or any, any kind of oil you really want to fry with. And, but we'll fry up a piece a couple minutes until you're liking. I do have a little piece here to kind of show you the outcome of it. So, oh. here's nothing. Me mm -hmm. yeah, It's pretty daggone good. Yeah. Well, that's about right. I don't need to add anything. I'm going to enjoy this piece. So, wish you could smell. Good day.